In this video, we're going to look into Godot's 4 CSG nodes, which is useful for modeling. Let's get into this. Okay, so here's a simple setup. I just have a simple node. I'm going to go ahead and right click. I'm going to add child node. I'm going to type in CSG. So we can do, it's a simple CSG box. Hit create. You can see it creates a simple box. We can expand it by clicking on the dots here. Look any shape we want. Great. Let's go make it a little wider. And just for fun, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this box. Move it up. Move it over. Cool. Now we have two boxes. Okay, so if we take one of these boxes and we double it again, we can do some fun Boolean operations. Let's go ahead and make this three a child of two down here. And we'll change this under CSG shape 3D. We'll change it to subtraction. Let's we'll go ahead and rotate this around. Let's move it down. You can see here, makes a nice little divot. Just to make sure you remember to make sure, make sure you remember to have it under this location. Make sure you have the proper relation to the nodes, child nodes and whatnot. Because if I move it down, you notice it doesn't affect the other one. Let's do another one. Let's say I want to do a union. Let's say I want to do a intersection. Well, it doesn't affect this box here, because it's part of this one down. It only affects one of these boxes, so this intersection says, hey, only render this part of the box. So I can make this a little higher, move this side in just, just a smidge bit, move this over just a smidge bit. Then I can move it down as well. Let's also do one more. We also have one called Taurus, which makes a donut shape, a sphere, polygon, mesh, cylinder. You can, with a mesh, you can pretty much just use your own meshes. Just make sure they're fully enclosed, otherwise you might have some trouble with it. But let's go a polygon 3D. Okay. So this is interesting. There's a couple of patterns you can do with this one as well. But I'm only going to show just one for now, because this can be its own entire tutorial for it. If you look under Operation CSG, you still have the Intersect Union Subtraction. But if you look under the mode and CSG Polygon 3D, you have three things. You have Spin and Depth and Path. Quick look at depth, you can see how deep it is. Look at depth, you change the path. Change the depth here, see how long it goes. You also have these little icons here to change the shape of it overall, which I think is great. You can also smooth the faces as well, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to and change this back to one. You can also do spin, which I think is great. And you can change how many rotations it does and how many spin pieces it has. Or slices, I should say. So one of the other portions you can do is change it to path, which makes it interesting because you can add a path 3D. Let 
And let's go ahead and add some points to that. So let's go and move this over here. Oops. Select this. Okay, adding movement over here. Actually, let's move it to oops. Add in a path three D. Let's go ahead and add a couple points. One and one way over here, because why not? Two. And say assign the path node in the path 3D and CSG polygon 3D. It creates a path. Great. We can also do something a little more interesting. We'll say make sure the CSG is set to path local because if it's not, it's not quite right. That way it follows the actual line that we're looking for. Now let's go ahead and add, let's go ahead and duplicate the CSG polygon 3D. And it uses this, or it's, it's already assigned to path 3D. And instead of using union, what we can do is say subtraction. Oops, excuse me. Okay, so we've got a subtraction set up. Let's go ahead and make it a child of that. Now, it does the subtraction. So I did this one again. Let's go make it a little bigger. Down this way a little bit more. Just a little bit more. And now we made a tunnel. Go ahead and click off it. Now you can see that I made a tunnel. Neat. Go ahead and save. Next thing I can do is go to scene and export as GLTF 2.0 scene. I'm going to create a new folder. Mesh. Ports. And I'll set this lead as model GLTF. And so now I'll go ahead and create a new scene. All 3D. My X exports. If I double click the GLTF, see it made its own little mesh models. And everything is its own node as well. I'll go ahead and bring it up. And there we go. I'll go ahead and make a new inherited. And I'll go ahead and clear the inheritance. Well, sorry. I'll go ahead and save this branch as a scene. Oops. I'll go ahead and save the scene as a new one. And then I'll go up here and say clear inheritance. Now I can select this piece over here by itself and move it around. And there we go. Okay, that's all for this video. If you have any comments or new video ideas, let me know in the comments below. Thank you.